Hi everybody, this is Guido with Lenovo and I'm here with the IdeaPad 115 IBY. Today we will be replacing the keyboard. The process will take us around 10 minutes, so you might want to have a little experience at working with computers before you try this. The tools required will be a Phillips screwdriver and a plastic prying tool. Before you continue, make sure you are protected against static electricity or electrostatic discharge. For more information on this, click the link in the video description. Now, you have to power off your computer. Disconnect all the cables and accessories from the system once it is completely powered off. And then place your machine on a hard, flat surface and you're ready. Okay, let's start. All right, so after we make sure we have no static electricity on our body, we can get started. First thing to do is we have to remove three screws on the bottom case. And it's easy to find them because there's the small keyboard symbol engraved on the case. All right, so we first remove these three screws. One. second one and the third one here we go after we completed this next step is turn the machine upside down face up and then we have to open the lid and now we have to remove the keyboard as you can see there is no screw on top of the keyboard so we have to pry open the keyboard, disengage it from the keyboard bezel. So what we can do first is that we try to slide a little bit the keyboard downwards so that there's a little bit of space on the top edge. And we can see there are one, two, three, four and five plastic tabs inside the keyboard bezel that we have to disengage, that we have to pry open. So using a plastic tool like this spudger we can just apply a little bit of lever near the plastic tabs. One, two, three, and then four. You see that we are lifting the keyboard up, and then here's the fifth. All right, so now we have uh, tried to open the top side of the keyboard. The side is still engaged, but we can flex the sides of the keyboard a little bit so that we can free the keyboard from the plastic tabs. So next step is sliding the keyboard okay, up like this a little bit so we have disengaged the bottom plastic tabs. And now we have to remove the cable, disconnect the keyboard. So using your fingernails, maybe that's easier, just open the lock and then take out the cable. We can just pull it out like this. Okay, so we remove the keyboard. All right, so now to install the new keyboard. So we place the keyboard in position face up. We see that the ribbon cable is on the bottom, so we pull it out so it's uh, visible. And then we have to first connect the keyboard, the keyboard cable. So we put the cable like this, and then using the other finger, we just lock it to the main board. So now that we have connected the cable, it's time to install the keyboard. So we have to engage the bottom tabs of the keyboard itself into the keyboard bezel. Then next step will be engage the sides by flexing it a little bit. You see there's enough room actually, it's already in. And then we have to snap into place the uh, top plastic bezel. So we have to make sure that all of them, one, two, three, four and five we see the sound we hear the sound so they are all in place when you have done that we can see the keyboard is flat into the keyboard bezel so it means that it's correctly installed and that's it so next thing is to install the screws so we close the lid then turn the machine face down on the table and here we have the position of the three screws as we said there's a little keyboard symbol engraved on the cover the case 
one, two, and three. And that's it. We have replaced our keyboard. Thank you.